Our goal with James was to gain as much muscle mass as possible, have big traps, huge shoulders and delts and veins that were popping. Today, I'm gonna to take you through a day of eating for James McAvoy during glass. When working on a movie, there's always three cycles. There's uh, the bulk up or build up phase. It's the cutting phase or cycle. And then it's the maintenance while filming. In the bulking phase, you, you wanna gain as much muscle mass as possible. And you wanna make sure that you're not losing body fat. I'm a big believer not gaining too much body fat as well, but you know, a couple of percentage might be good. From beginning to end, James, gained about 16 pounds in 14 weeks. James' protein sources during the build-up phase was mainly lamb, beef, chicken, and eggs. His primary carbohydrates were cold potatoes. You boil them, you let them go cold because it slows the GI index down. Um, brown rice, farro, barley, and quinoa. Some good Fat sources would be unsalted nuts, avocado, and uh, fish oil. Vegetables. Uh, with every meal, we're trying to get some good greens in as well. Uh, the more color, the better. Actually, more nutrients. So red and green vegetables as much as possible. During the build-up phase, uh, I wanted James to eat breakfast as soon as possible in the morning. So this is a typical breakfast that James would have. Four to five eggs, some turkey bacon, sweet potato, and broccoli. Eat the whole egg. There's a lot of nutrients in the yolk. With this, he would also eat a couple of Vasa crisp breads, which is really high in fiber, slow carb, and low in sugar. Three hours after breakfast, James would have a snack, which would consist of, of protein, uh, ideally chicken or beef, sometimes shrimp, and a good fat source, and another Vasa crisp bread or Fin crisp. Three hours later, James would have lunch, which would normally consist of two fistfuls of either lamb or beef, and two fistfuls of a slow carb and some good fats, and a ton of veggies on the side. So three hours later after lunch, James would have a snack again, uh, something protein-based, like these turkey meatballs right here. And many times we would sprinkle some nuts on to, to get the fiber high and uh, some energy into it. So three hours after the snack, James would have dinner. Uh, it would be about the same as lunch, beef, lamb, chicken, and some slow carbs and good fats, and a ton of veggies once again. Ideally, we would time the workout. So James would work out two hours after a meal, and then eat right after a workout. Sometimes uh, that wasn't realistic. Then I would make sure that James got some BCAs that he would drink right after a workout, within 30 minutes. A big part of this diet is tracking your macros, your protein, fat, and carbs. If you wanna try this diet at home, it's much easier if you use your fists instead of start calculating calories and tracking your macros in a more specific way. So a good way of doing this at home is to have three to four eggs in the morning, any way you want it. Three hours later, have a fistful of something protein-based. Lunch should be a fistful of protein and a fistful of slow carbs or good fat. Throw in two fistfuls of vegetables. Three hours later, another snack, fistful of something protein-based. Dinner should be the same thing as lunch. So a fistful of protein and a fistful of energy. Good fats or slow carbs. And the vegetables. This diet is approachable for everyone because you get to pick your protein, your carbohydrates, and your fat that you like. So. Pick and choose and have a go.